Hey, what's up? Hello. Welcome or welcome back to today's reading. Oh, interesting. Right away, we have Queen of Wands. <laughs> right away, we have Queen of Wands to hang out during the intro. So, week ahead. What can we expect for the upcoming week? Energetic vibes. Interesting. The Empress. Queen of Wands and the Empress. I feel like one more wants to come out. Oh, nine of, <laughs> nine of Pentacles. I was like, ooh, I wonder if it's going to be another queen energy. So for the upcoming week, right away, pretty quickly, we have nine of Pentacles, queen of wands, and the empress. Right away. I mean, I'm already getting like queen shit, like confident queen <laughs> I mean, classic, broke people should never laugh. <laughs> I mean, which, ooh, excuse me, I'm kind of chuckling right now. Maybe I shouldn't. But um, I'm just getting that vibe. I don't know if you've ever heard that. That uh, Anyway, I'm just getting that vibe of broke people should never laugh. Just like of like rich bitch energy. But more so of like, yeah, I've, I just feel like stepping into your power. Like these are just very powerful cards. I hear lush. I hear luxurious. So this upcoming week, I mean, major lush vibes. And I'm also getting the aspect of a mother, like mother energy. And you don't necessarily have to be a mom, but like of like a of like a of like a physical human child. <laughs> but um, I'm getting this energy of like birthing something that could be a professional project an academic project let me put this down a professional project an academic project um it could be a physical human being but it's kind of like birthing something but you did it a you did it a while ago like this isn't you didn't just pop it out today you popped it out a while ago <laughs> and, um you've kind of watched you've kind of been watching it like to me Again, I've never had children, but I've, you know, seen memes where it's like your first kid, you're very nervous and cautious and people got to, I mean, people should be san hand sanitizing anyway, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, a, and then your second kid falls in the mud and you're like, that's okay. Like the second kid is, you, you've, you've uh, gone through the ropes with the first kid. So the second kid doesn't seem so fragile. Um, Again, very big generalization of first kid, second kid <laughs> relationship dynamics. But it's kind of like this confident of like you birthed something a while ago and you're like, you're worried about it. You're, you know, you, 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 you love it. You want it to succeed, but you're like watching it. So maybe this week, um, whatever projects you've been cultivating for a while, um, you could feel very confident really stepping into that confident bitch energy. I don't know. That's just the word. That was just the, that's just the phrase I keep hearing. So that's the phrase I'm going with. This like confident, secure energy. And especially like the queen of wands is really sticking out. It's really interesting too. The queen of wands is really sticking out to me. And partially because the empress and nine of pence both have yellow skies and she's kind of inverted. She has a blue sky and a yellow cloak. And she is surrounded by a minor arcana and a major arcana. It's like an evolution. And you are currently at the Queen of Wands stage in this upcoming week and whenever you or whatever time period you feel resonates. It could be this upcoming week. I also hear month, this upcoming month of in the progression of feeling confident to reigning and ruling reigning supreme <laughs> i don't know why reigning supreme and then going to goddess energy that could be the progression of this week or whatever time period feels right to you and that could be why she's sticking out because that is where the energy for you or for the collective is currently because i keep hearing like distinguished and respectable respected um, especially the Queen of Wands. She's very intuitive. <gasps> She's very wise. Queen of Cups joined the party. Queen of Cups, very compassionate, very personable. Everyone loves the Queen of Cups. She's very in tune with her emotions. She's very in tune with the ebbs and flows of her life and of her cup. Because interesting, this cup, I always 
it's the most interesting cup. It's the most interesting cup in all of the cup suit. And I think it is fitting for the Queen of Cups because she is so personable. She's um, not necessarily the life of the party, but like she's like she's like the person who sits in the corner, but always has like a fun and interesting story. And when you talk to her, she feels like she's engaging and one and, and genuinely wants to know about who you are. And it's like I just feel that energy radiating like for from you for for this week like it's really it has this feeling of like coming into your own coming into really stepping into the ranks really showing off that expert energy showing off who you really are because although feminine there is i mean a masculine element but also even just the way the queen of, I mean the queen of wands is just sticking out so much even the way the queen of wands is sitting it's like straight back it's it's looking out at her kingdom looking out at her people looking out at her cats or <laughs> whoever whatever she's looking out at and it is it's like I have the confidence I have the abundance I have all the the grapes and and the wealth from the pentacles I have I mean, the wealth and abundance, all the pomegranates on the Empress, as well as the knowledge and the guidance and the support of the stars, of the entire zodiac, of whatever soul systems are within you. As And then you also have, so it's like you're bringing together wealth, you're bringing together astrological wealth and soul knowledge wealth and ancestral wealth and then you're also bringing in the wealth of your emotions and of your personableness and of your um ah uh, i love it the world and and of all of the great things that cups and emotions um bring to us and being in touch with those and then of course the world of course the world pops up this is such a great i'm just i i'm feeling so like happy and confident and like Yes, it's like all of the hard work. I mean, the world, it's its everything. It's ev- its all encompassing. It's like all truly the work that you've paid off, the, the children you've birthed, <laughs> whatever children means to you. Like it's, it's finally coming out and living and breathing. And I just feel like this week feels so easy. It feels so breezy. It feels so beautiful. It feels so cover girl. I feel like there's one more the card wants to come out. I think it's the bottom card. Interesting. All right, King of Cups, another cup card. And that feels complete. And interesting, the last card we do have is a masculine energy card. And interesting, I was talking about an evolution. That's what this feels like also. It's kind of like you have emotions, you have wealth, you have your spiritual combining those all together you have the world you've like made it throughout this new week it's not, it feels like king of cups is coming up next it's kind of like a preview of what this is all i mean this is like a funnel right now it's like what it's all funneling down to is the king of cups which the queen of cups is looking directly at her cup and really focusing on it and nour- and nourishing it and like admiring all the details and really falling in love with it and the king the king of cups his cup is definitely a lot less fancy it's a lot more wavy the water's a lot wavier like rockier up and down i hear emotional wave but with him he's looking out he's looking out at what's happening much like the queen of wands she's looking out at what's happening and it feels like this peaceful energy that you have cultivated in this week in this upcoming week is leading you to be able to go into some kind of tumultuous why am i trying to say all these words that i cannot say why am i trying to say all these words that i cannot say (laughs) tumultuous tumultuous rocky i'm just gonna say rocky road baby (laughs) whatever rocky road it's like it's like because they're both pretty stoic they're both pretty like they're like looking out chest open you know straight back it's like the charisma that you built up while being the queen of cups now translates into outer charisma it's like taking 
what you birth. It's like a test. That's what it is. It's like the confidence and knowing how well you've raised what everything you've birthed. It's, it still feels in, in infancy. It, it feels like a toddler, especially because the Empress is three. It's, it's early on in the major. It's like, although it's like it's ready for its first test. Whatever happens this week um, or with it, whatever upcoming time period feels feels good for this evolution up here is really culminating and getting you ready for a king of cups moment where you can really show those emotional skills that confidence that calm resolve and show up in this gray murky situation and shine that's what i'm hearing for that so next i'm going to pick a few soul's journey cards to see what additional messages you have? Abundance. I mean, we love to see it. We love to see it. All right. Anything else before I go to abundance? Yep. Okay. I felt it. Oh, interesting. And blame. So abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I mean... I don't even have anything to say. I mean, I agree. And it's the same side as the world and the empress. And really the empress is, she's covered in pomegranate. She's covered in abundance. Nine of pentacles, covered in covered in pentacles. He's got a bird. He's got a pet bird. I mean, rich people have pet birds. <laughs> Actually, I mean, there are plenty of people with pet birds. <laughs> but I'm just thinking about um, uh, being able to like fill a plane with i saw this like what this like video of um a plane full of falcons i think they're going to like some falcon air competition or something but just like that rich energy that you can just like book a plane for all your falcons <laughs> and there's like grapes representing abundance it's like you have all of this power and you have so much royalty in this spread this upcoming week this up I feel like upcoming week, but I also want to say month. This upcoming month is full of proof that you have that limitless ability to be able to create whatever you want, to be able to create whatever you want. And the next card is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And interesting because the king of cups, the, the water in this card is really reminding me of blame is reminding me of like emotional ter emotional turmoil especially because this card is gray it's just like emotional turmoil and it's like you can't blame anyone else like you really are responsible for your own well-being but I feel like I feel like you know that but I also feel like there are two more cards I also feel like there are two more cards in this maybe not I actually think yep yeah. So we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And interesting because this reminds me of a lighthouse. It reminds me of a lighthouse. Oh, I think that might be too low. But a lighthouse, when things are getting tumultuous, that is not the word. I will learn how to say it and I will flash the word on the screen that I am trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> but when things get bad it is like you need that lighthouse to help you get through the adversity and like you as long as you accept that challenges within this next week within this next month are the are lessons and not failures because in another reading I did there was a card about accepting that it was the fennec fox it was something about um being adaptable to change and not seeing change as a failure but really seeing change as a lesson so that could be a message that's really coming up and that could be the test that the king of cups um might bring is some adversity is some opportunities to feel like you want to blame somebody else or you want to blame yourself for whatever situation you are in but king of cups is here to remind you that these are just lessons and these are just to test the baby <laughs> to test whatever thing that you have birthed and it's not it's nothing um it's nothing bad it's nothing permanent and it's not a reflection of you it really is just a test because that is 
that is part of why we're down here is to experience different soul tests, tests for our soul to learn and to grow collective consciousness. At least that's my theory. <laughs> so the last soul's journey card we have is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Exactly. And same with like the blame. Like you can only like you're responsible for your well-being that i mean that's having to be really honest with yourself that you can't expect the truth from others you can't expect everyone to feel the same way about things that you feel or agree about i mean if this literally is about raising kids not everyone agrees about raising kids and like how that should be done and and different there are a lot of different parenting um philosophies out there (laughs) and same comes with any type of goal like you know whether that be academic whether that be professional whether that be for fun like um there will always be people with opinions and that could be what this king of cups is also coming down to because cups can also represent relationships and so if there is a big important relationship i just say big important because the king is the king is um the the top of the (laughs) of the it's the last card in the whole suit of cups so it's like it's kind of like this big relationship partnership romantic platonic work what platonic (laughs) platonic work related whatever maybe check where you have some unrealistic expectations to help prepare you for whatever test the king of cups has for you lastly we are going to draw a few numerology cards or one one card let's see if any other oh all right three (laughs) we're doing these three so the first card we have is i am awakening so within this upcoming week within this upcoming month some awakening the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and help you to wake up to who you truly are. Exactly that adversity that I feel like everything is leading up to with this King of Cups is just a test to really show you who you are and to and to help you wake up and to help you succeed. Yeah, this adversity, it's going to feel like it doesn't even feel like a big blow. I'm not it, it doesn't even feel it feels more like a shake up, like a wake up because the the waves in king of cups aren't choppy they're not like the boat in the background isn't capsizing and there's like a cute little fish popping out like so it's kind of like just a small little shake up and it's just to remind you like adversity is here to learn and that you're changing next card we have is i am insightful you are highly intuitive and creative your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. And Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a very, she's the most intuitive queen. She's very intuitive. Wands can represent passion and intuition. So definitely with you being in the the Queen of Wands stage right now within this week of month of whatever project you are birthing and um I don't know why I keep saying birthing because you have birthed it. Like it's out. It's been out. It's been out for a minute. This is not something new. I don't know why I keep saying birthing and not birthed, but this has been birthed. Maybe for some of you, it's something that you are about to publish or make public, but it's birthed. It's birthed. And the last card, I am expanding. Speaking of birthing, master number 33, I am expanding. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. Exactly. I was literally like, if you haven't, if you haven't birthed whatever project, like birth it, pop it out right now. I'm giving you an epidural. I don't know. (laughs) Actually, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not giving anyone an epidural. (laughs) I'd probably pass out. But anyway, um, (laughs) like if you have not birthed whatever project like this is a sign in this week step out of the nine of pentacles and into the royalty into like the next step of of the queen of wands if that is something that you have not but if you if this has been a project that you have been working on for a while know in this week especially in this upcoming month you're 
the expansionist expansiveness why are words not wanting to come out of my mouth the expansiveness the uh, the abundance that comes with that is all for you i'm like hearing Jana jackson it's all for you <laughs> i'm not gonna say <laughs> um but that is what I'm seeing for you. Let me know any of your interpretations down below in the comments. Comma a bunch of grapes to claim this reading and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you like the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.